troops, it is Jano J Smith here back with another LEGO Star Wars Classic review. Today we have the Droids Battle Pack, simply put. Uh, set number 7654, ages 6 to 12, came with 102 pieces and retailed back in 2007 for £10 or $10, dollars So, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, it's been a little while um, without a review or something. Sorry about that, but it took me a while to rebuild this set. I've also been building a few other sets that you'll be seeing soon. Um, but anyway, so let's just basically get started. So this set is, you know, quite old from 2007. One of the very first battle packs along with the clone one. And to be honest with you, it's possibly one of the best valued. Because it has 102 pieces, 7 minifigures, you know, all this different sets and stuff. And it just cost £10. That was back in the day, you know. Now, these days, we're getting things that cost £13, £12, you know. Uh, yeah, they, you know, they were the days where we got a bunch of stuff for just £10, and it was really good value. Jeez, I mean, this is, like, the only, I think, Droids Battle Pack ever. We have got an Assassin Droids Battle Pack in Channel 9. However, that wasn't really an Iron Bound Army Builder, just because it was Assassin Droids. This is the only Army Building... Droids battle pack we've ever received. They have never made another battle droids ba uh, battle pack ever since, and that's kind of depressing. I really wish they could. You know, a bunch of people were wanting them to make another droids battle pack, but whatever. Uh, and now with the Clone Wars ending, will they? I don't know. Hopefully one day they will, but we'll see. Anyway, so let's get actually into the set. So it has seven minifigures. That is the most we've ever seen in a battle pack ever. That's awesome. I mean, yeah. Battle droids are, you know, do cost less than clones to make and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, so we just get, we got four normal battle droids. Now, because this is back in 2007, they uh, they don't have any straight arms, unfortunately. Um, and they, they don't have those new blasters. Um, in fact, well, actually, they do. Um, the new blasters, like, started in 2007. And by the way, if you don't know what a new blaster is, I'm talking about, like, these things. Or these, you know. Uh, they start on Channel 7. We got them, in fact, the Clones Battle Pack. But for some reason, they didn't give it to us in the Droids Battle Pack. They gave us the other blasters in the back here, which I will show you in a minute. But anyway, there's nothing to really say about him. He's a normal Battle Droid. Literally nothing to say. Um, he doesn't have a straight arm, which is really uncommon now. All droids these days have straight arms, so they can hold the gun properly. But, you know, that's, that's annoying, the fact he gets a bent arm. But this is what they used to have back in the day. Before they had straight arms, they just had two curved arms. So, yeah, but he's a battle droid. I think we've all seen battle droids. <laughs> yeah. You get four of them. So, you know, that's that's awesome. Four battle droids, exactly the same, you know, and just rare. And then the second figure, which you get three of, you get two battle droids. In fact, it's the first set I ever got, two battle droids. I'm not sure if this is the first set we ever got these grey two battle droids. It may be or may not, I'm not sure. But um, the point is, you know, back in turn 7, these grey two battle, battle droids were quite rare. We didn't get many of them. Um, the ones we previously got were like blue. So, it's really cool to get a grey one. But he's exactly the same as every other battle, super battle droid we've seen since. You know, he doesn't have the rocket arms because obviously they weren't introduced to like turn 9 or something. But yeah, he's just a super battle droid. You get three of him. Really, I can't stress enough. If you're a droids fan, you're probably going to have like a ton of this battle pack. And it sort of sucks. And it's sort of a bit weird. The fact they've never made an entire droids battle pack ever again. Just with normal battle droids. You think they might, but... Oh, whatever. So, the first battle pack ever, and in fact, the only battle pack ever to have battle droids. But you get three of them. And they do... All, all of these figures do have slots in the set. You know, they do have places they can go. So, yeah, but that's the figures, basically. There's nothing really to say about them. You know, we've all seen suit battle droids, and we've all seen battle droids before. So, yeah. Cool. Army builder. But, yeah. They've got the stack. Alright, so we've seen quite a few stats, you know, before. In many different sets, you know, um, we saw quite a few steps before this and quite a few steps after this. Uh, I think this was the last set or so where we actually saw a brown stap. These are the ones we saw in Naboo. Uh, after that point, you know, in more recent years, for example, I think in turn 8, when we got the ATTE, we saw the blue stap. Yay, and personally I love the design of this, well, not the design as much, but the colour of it a lot more. A lot more separatist, just a lot cooler, really. Uh, don't, I'm not as much in the fan of the design, uh, colour of this. Design-wise, they're pretty similar, nothing really to say about it. Um, the pieces here are exactly the same. You know, um, don't know what these are called, you know, translucent, no, whatever, whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah, so, but I mean, the designs are very, very similar. Uh, really nothing much to say about it, apart from the fact that this one's blue. 
There are some slight design changes, but nothing major. Um, yeah, main difference is this um, piece here doesn't come out all the way as much as this this one does. And I just really like the blue one a lot more, so that's why they've kept it. You know, a lot more people like the blue one. Just looks a lot cooler, and just really. But anyway, let's stick um, him in there. Back to turn seven steps were quite rare actually. You didn't see many of them. Oops. You just gotta take his arms. Droids are sort of hard to handle, like instead of minifigures because they're sort of their parts are sort of you know not as much fixed as minifigures are. But anyway, so there you go. That's it. Um, him attached to his stack. He flies along like so. We didn't see many stats back then, you know. But the only ones we did see were brown. We got them in a few other sets, like the MTT and stuff, but we didn't see many of them. Um, but they're pretty cool. So, yeah, that's just... Oops. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just him on his stat. Not sure. He can barely see over the top of that, but... Okay, so there we go. And then on to the actual thing. I'm not actually entirely sure what the name of this is. Uh, I think it's just like a troop carrier or something. It doesn't really have a name. Um, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so this is the thing the uh, droids and battle droids sit in. Um, you can put the pilot battle droids in here. You can see there, they're sort of like those two brown... Um, in fact, if I, I can take this off. Yeah, two brown... I don't really know what those pieces are called, but, you know, those. You know, And basically, you just stick them in there. You know, it's kind of difficult, though. Because that's the thing about droids... Uh, battle droids specifically, they're, you know, as I was saying with the stat, they're so sort of bendy in a way. Not like minifigures, where they're more sort of fixed in place and you can easily put them down. You know, with this one, it's kind of hard to make them stand straight. I try to, you know, hang on. Okay, I think that's more or less your best you're going to do. There's not really much you can do. Whatever, we're just going to leave them like that. I'm not, I don't think he's actually attached to studs, but it doesn't really matter because you're not really going to turn this upside down. And, you know, um, he looks pretty straight anyway, so yeah. This thing does have a small amount of move, you know, can move not very much, but just that much. Uh, we have these guns on the front. Nothing really to say about them. They are guns. <laughs> and they, this set does not have flick fire missiles, because I don't think flick fire missiles were around then. Um, if they were, then they really, you know, definitely were not widespread. I think they came with that, the Clone Wars sets, is when Flick Fire Missiles officially started. But, you know, that has a small amount of move ability. Swivel, you know. And there you go. It can, they can go up, by the way, as well. If I just push them up. That's as far as they can go up, because they sort of stop by this brick. You know, so, so they can go that far up. And they can go that far down. So, yeah. So a fair amount of maneuverability, you know, you can sort of like drive along, like, you know, all that. Oops, not my step, but I will. Uh, Alright, so in the back, this is the section where you have the battle droids and super battle droids, where, this is where they hang. Because, you know, these are all the battle droids and super battle droids that are left, you know, where they're meant to sit. Oh yeah, by the way, you get two of these guns, and as I was saying, they did not have the new guns, or at least they did, but they didn't add them in the set. So, what you basically did back in the day before those new guns, you gave them this. And it wasn't just these guys, but the clones, in fact, every minifigure, you know, held these guns. And that's what, see? So that's why I improved it to, like, have straight arms. Because now it looks weird, because, you know, holding, like, a massive megaphone sideways. If I just get a droid, you see here? This is what they look like now, this is the more modern battle droid. See, nothing's really changed, apart from the fact the straight arm. So that's annoying, but whatever, okay. Anyway though, so we get two of them. Um, you may be saying, you know, why don't we get four? That is because two of them, like, this one's on the stack, and this one's meant to be in the cockpit. And back then, Lego didn't give you extra guns, you know, if you, like, you meant to put them in their positions, and obviously they aren't going to use guns when they've got, you know, when they're in the cockpit or when they're using the stack. So they only gave you two guns for the remaining two droids you had. I suppose it's not a major issue, but, you know, nonetheless. Anyway, let's put the droids in here. You see these sections, um, you know, with these, you know, divided up. Each um, droid and super bad droids meant to go in these sections. So, start with super bad droids at the back. OK. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. That's the thing that sort of annoys me about battle droids is the fact they are so sort of flimsy in the way that you can easily they just knock over. Gosh, anyway. But you know, whatever. Um, and there you go, ready. And that's them in their slots. You can give those to uh, the guns if you want to. You can sort of fire. Uh, they can't move about because of this and whatever. Um, Super bad droids obviously have guns built in. But that's basically it. Nothing really more to say. Oh, yeah, on the bottom, if you notice, you have five of these black sort of pieces because this is meant to hover. So you can just hover along. You know, oh, the pipe's falling out, but you know. It's meant to hover along. Not really, doesn't really look that much like hovering. I suppose it does kind of a bit. But there you go. That's it's hovering. And yeah, really. Um, nothing more to say about the set. I suppose we'll go in the instruction manual. Pretty good set. You know, I mean, as I said before, if you're a Battle Droids fan, then you're definitely going to get have a bunch of this battle pack because it's the only one they've ever made of the Battle Droids. But, you know, who knows why, but it is. Uh, to be honest with you, you, even if you're not into Battle Droids, you've probably got a lot of them um, because, you know, oops, <laughs> because the fact that Battle Droids tend to go in a lot of Republic sets now. So even if you don't particularly want to collect Battle Droids, you've probably got a lot of them just from, you know. But anyway, let's get the instruction manual. You have to excuse the fact it doesn't have a front cover. You know, I'm sorry, guys, but you know, this I got this well seven years ago. So you know, over seven years, a lot of stuffs happened. You know, to, and whatever. So yeah. But anyway, so there you go. Um, nothing really to say about it. Very simple build. You know, all that. Just on the back. And sorry, this is ripped. As I said again, seven years. This is just by way of my checklist, because when I'm building these sets, which, if you don't know, um, most of the sets I have, well, not most of them, but a fair amount of the sets I have in my collection, um, have been broken up, and I've had to remake them. And that's where a lot of my classic reviews come from. If you watch my updates, you know, my last update, you'll see all that being made. Um, so, you know, please go check this out. And when I'm rebuilding them, this is the checklist. You know, I check off what pieces I have, and whatever. If we turn the page, yay, we have this massive battle scene. So we can move this back. Really big. Got a wow. <laughs> if I zoom out, hang on. You have to excuse all the stuff in the corner. Um, just yeah, yeah. See, epic battle scene between you know the um, clones battle pack from that year and the droids battle pack from that year. Obviously, this is not all the droids and clones you get in one battle pack. These are multiple battle packs. But it's really awesome. I've done a review of that battle pack, by the way, if you want to check that out. Um, you know, so that's really cool. Really cool battle scene in the back there. You know, we don't get those anymore. I and mean, it's sad. I really wish we did. Um, but yeah, in the first ever battle pack. Uh, just, you know, well, big Lego shop. <laughs> what, Lego Online? It would be, obviously. But, uh, yeah, basically. Nothing more to say about the set. I'll just put this down. It's really tattered, but it's been a while, so that's okay. But there you go. So that is basically the set. Really nothing more to say about it. Uh, a fair amount of these pieces are quite rare in this brown color, this brownish, red-ish color sort of thing. Um, so, you know, that's cool. Uh, now, it, is, it does go for quite a lot if you want it in mint condition, you know, so, yeah. But, I mean, if you want to build up your droid army, I recommend just going on Brickling or eBay and buying a bunch of battle droids separately, rather than buying a bunch of this battle pack. Yes, this battle pack is definitely a very good place to get a bunch of droids, but really, that was back when it was actually, you know, new. Now, it just wouldn't be sort of worth it, um, if you want to just get the battle droids. Um, but, you know, it's still a cool set to have, don't get me wrong, you know. It's still, yeah, pretty good. Unfortunately, this is the only one of this I have. Uh, back in 2007, I was barely, I barely started, really. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, but it is a cool battle pack. I will give it that. Um, and there's nothing more to say. Some good parts to it. You know, investment-wise, pretty good. Pieces are pretty good. <laughs> Just generally pretty good. 
yeah, okay, so, uh, there you go then, I reviewed most of the battle packs now, uh, the next video will be on the Snow Troopers battle pack, this Snow Troopers battle pack, yeah, from 2010, so please go watch that, it's not, it might be up now already, if you're, you know, watching this in the future, um, but yeah, so, thank you guys for watching this review, if you liked it, then please give it a like down below, uh, please leave in the comments any of your thoughts, you know, do you like this set? How much would you rate it? Do you have any of these? You know, just just anything really. And any questions you may have, please leave them down below because I will answer them. You know, I do my best to answer every question put to me. So yeah, and please subscribe to my channel as well because that will greatly appreciate it. I do a lot of these reviews. I'm hoping to do well. I'm not going to say every single Lego Star Wars set. I might do. Hopefully one day, one day in the future, I might do them all. But we'll see. You know, until that day comes. So, you know, I'll see you next time. And this is Jeremy Smith. Bye, troops. <laughs>